so hey y'all this is what it's looking like around here this morning stuff is everywhere <laughs> supplies are everywhere but i'm not worried about it i don't know about nobody else i'm not worried about it this is what i'm doing i'm going ahead and setting items in baskets guys even if i'm not able to get around to wrapping them up today we're actually getting things in containers so that all i gotta do at the last last minute is throw the wrapping on it we already have bows pre-made guys a lot of you are saying it's raining get on your grind today start making some bows start getting some gifts prepared in the boxes in the baskets for those last minute crowds y'all yeah so this is what it's looking like around here this morning let me show you guys what we got going on over here and like i said stuff is everywhere but i don't care this is money making season baby money making season so here we have these um amazing little um canvas totes that i showed you guys the only thing that came was the mickey and the mini mouse i've already done well most of the mini mouses i've already done i'm working on one more but these are mickey mouse and Minnie mouse totes this is all that came with it was the actual bear and the bag and there was some candy like i mentioned on my previous video that i used for um easter last year because i know by time i knew by time i got ready to use them this year for valentine's day the candy would be um old so that's another pointer if you happen to buy valentine stuff this year after it clearances off and you look at it and be like oh i'm not gonna get this mug because it has candy or i'm not gonna get this um little pre-made basket because it has candy or foods that will be perished by next valentine's guys just take those items out and use them in your easter baskets on my channel i teach you to make baskets not just for children for easter but for adults as well teenagers as well all right i sell for all ages for all um holidays so make sure you keep those things in mind and you're not leaving things back in the store that you actually could be using for other things now let's say this let's say the worst case scenario which we're already speaking because we already know what language we should be speaking speaking language of faith um let's just say worst case scenario these do, do not sell what are we going to do we're going to use absolutely everything that you see in this container the only thing we're not going to be using is this canvas bag that says be mine okay what we're going to do we're going to take all of these items out of this canvas bag we're going to put these items in a little um box or we're going to put it in a inexpensive um but cute gift basket or gift container and we're going to put these canvas bags up for next year and we're just going to fill it up with simple items it doesn't have to have a mini mouse or a mickey mouse in the bag just because it's a mini mouse or mickey mouse bag we can throw some little dollar tree which i hate dollar tree toys by the way um we could throw some we go we we advancing this year okay guys so if you've been getting toys from dollar tree i'm gonna teach you if you continue to follow me how to get more amazing toys that are more credible and that are more um stable for just a little bit of money you're not even gonna be paying 125 when you shop 90 percent off 70 percent off at walgreens cvs those stores that have really really great toys big lots like i got these big um chalk um it resembles a pencil but it's like a chalk pencil um they were four dollars and i paid only 40 cents for them y'all so look this really big item right here that was originally four dollars i'm only and i'm about to turn this over i only paid 40 cents for it so where you would be going to dollar tree paying 125 if you shop the right way you will be getting several items for what you're paying 125 for all right so don't worry if you think you're not going to sell it if you have the inventory or you have the money to get the inventory go ahead and get it and just start putting some things together grouping some things together at the last minute all you got to do is wrap it even if let's just say i run out of time and um which i do have some help but if i didn't have any help and i'm running out of time the fact that i go ahead and put these items together and just stick them in a box Look, when I get to my site and somebody's looking for a children's basket and I don't have it on my table, all I've got to do is go just pack all of this stuff up in a box, take my plastic with me, take my bows that's already pre-made, hint, hint, 
take those with me and throw these items together. Just be like, hey, give me about one or two minutes. Let me wrap this up for you and I will have it ready for you in a jiffy, okay? That's how you do that, guys. Do not leave these sales out here for somebody else to get it or for them to go to Walmart where the people are already rich. Walmart is already a multi, probably billionaire company, okay? We, we're not trying to make them rich. We're trying to get our money, honey, okay? And fill our bags. So make sure you're not leaving out customers because you don't have things ready. Go ahead and prepare. It's a rainy day in most states. People are saying some people are out, some are not. Those that are not, go ahead and do these things while you're sitting around, watching the game, watching uh, Lifetime, whatever you're doing, have something in your hand that's going to be a production to your business. All right, guys, I'm going to get off this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and I'll see you on the next video. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag until the next video. Bye.